Asterisk will do uh, the countdown. Uh, do you want to count in or me? Yeah, you can. Uh, three, two, one, go. So I'm Asterisk. I'm Tom. And we're going to race <laughs> Bomberman 64. To give you an idea about this game, you've probably played it before in your childhood, and that's really great and dandy. Um, we're going to ruin portions of your childhood by hopefully obliterating the mini bosses and then skipping large portions of the game um, using unintended mechanics. Using intended mechanics in different ways to what? Yeah, unintended, I guess. I was concerned about pillars, so I stopped. Yeah, pillars are scary. So there, um, we just have to blow up some pillars. It's not difficult, it's the way you play it casually, but doing it fast, you can mess up pretty quickly and easily. Um, so this is just sort of like the intro level. It's sort of pretty chill. There's not much going on. So it's sort of walking around, getting all these um, things that dispel the barrier at the end. So it's pretty, Pretty basic chill level. It's sort of an intro to the game. Teaches you how to play the game. Yeah, it teaches you mechanics. It has some easy intended bomb jump locations, so you can get a feel for how the bombs behave. My cock didn't open his mouth. There he goes. Very rude. Here's a little shortcut, just jumping across rather than using the stairs, because going to stairs is slow. I threw mine too far. So um. <laughs> When you throw a bomb, <laughs> when you throw a bomb, there's three lengths at which you can throw it, depending on how hard you push on your control stick. If you push none, you do the low throw, uh, like the shortest, and then an intermediate amount, which we never do, and then a large amount, which I did, because I forgot to let go of the control stick. Um, and that comes into play pretty significantly, because it's about the length of Bomberman each increment, so it's two Bomberman's worth of length if you do a long throw over a non-long throw. I already died once, so okay. we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. All right, so here's the um, first of the mini-bosses. For most of the mini-bosses, normally you have to fight them by kicking bombs at them and hitting them five times with bombs, I think it is. Um, but the way we do it is we knock them unconscious and then just throw them straight off the edge of the map. So hopefully I can demonstrate that here. Nope, I've messed up. Okay, hang on, nope. nope. So Some of them are really painful if you mess up the quick kills. So it's worth noting that I think I think it's three on normal and five on hard, and they also hurt themselves a lot. So you want to play into that. All right. Oh, he didn't go off. All right, there we go. <laughs> Asterisk will show you how it's meant to be done. Or not. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I want that. Wow, he's rude. Mate, 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 mate. There you go. So that's killing the boss normally without throwing them off the edge. It takes a long time for a lot of them. Yeah. So um, Green Garden 3, which is the level I'm in, is a pretty simple level. It's run round, this guy will steal the crystal from you and you just keep going and collecting the crystal. He's it's a very level. rude bird. Very rude. It's like a, I think he's like a narwhal sort of like thing. Yeah. Unicorn bird. Yeah. Um, so this will be the first time where we get a chance to pick up some upgrades in these two boxes. Um, and I got one of each. So. One of them gives me the ability to drop an extra bomb, and the other one will increase the radius of my explosions. So, um, through the run, we definitely we need at least one extra bomb to do triple bomb jumps, which we'll explain a bit more later. And we want two radiuses helpful, not necessary. It just makes one of the bosses a bit easier. Um, the other thing I just picked up then is remote bombs, which uh, essentially allows us to blow up the bombs when we want to rather than them being on a fuse. So that's really helpful for speeding up a lot of things rather than waiting for the bombs to explode. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, keeping remote bombs can be challenging. Yeah, so if you, if you die, you lose the remote bombs and either have to get them again or 
just not have them. So I didn't get a third bomb. I got two fire drops instead. So I'm going to have to pick up a fire drop, uh, a bomb drop at a different point in time. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. Ooh, that was a bit... Oh, that's fine. Optimal. <laughs> Where'd you get your remote bombs? I got my... From the normal spot you get remote bombs. <laughs> I don't need them. Did you not get... <laughs> I don't... I never get them. Alright, so this is the first of the, like, main bosses. The main bosses generally have, like, I think it's about four or five health. And so we get the... Sirius, the, your friend, will drop off remote bombs so that you can blow up bombs when you want. And essentially, the fight is just sort of... He'll fly around, and I've just got to hit him three times with the bombs. Um, I might be able to do a one cycle here. Oh, I didn't hit him with the second. Okay, if I'd hit him with the second bomb, not. I don't know why I missed the second bomb of all of them, but if you hit him three times, that would have been a one cycle, but still got a two cycle, which is pretty fast. And a lot of the bosses have very slow death animations, so they take, it's, they take a long time to die. Yeah. <laughs> some coloration issues there. Alright. Um, so while, while Asterisk is fighting Draco, um, this is Blue Resort 1. This is the first time we you see um, any bomb jumping. So essentially along here we can run over here, do a little drop one bomb there, knock ourselves out and jump up. Cut which allows us to just jump up to areas. Normally we'd have to run around, solve a bunch of puzzles, but this just, just allows us to skip pretty much the whole level, which so is Tom a Tom lot got faster. A, Tom Tom got a two cycle on his dragon, and I got a sweep on mine. Oh yeah, so they have different patterns, Whoa. and one of the patterns for the dragon is flying under the um, raft, which is very slow. And He's nodding his head in agreement. In agree yeah, it's very slow. Alright, so this next boss that I'm on um, is Artemis. She's she can be quite difficult. A lot, of, like I said before, a lot of the mini bosses, if you mess up the quick kill, they are not easy. They make you pay. Yeah, they make you pay for it. You're mine. Oh wait, no, it's Japanese. It's Japanese. I don't know what she says in Japanese. Presumably, you're mine. Probably. Um, yeah. So hopefully, I can get this quick kill. Oh, no, I've messed it up. Okay. That's not too bad. She ran down there, so I can still get her pretty quickly. So that's the backup strat. Still pretty fast. That's the... Th those boxes are where you pick up your bomb drop yeah. if you've missed it. And that's just before the level where you need it, which is stage three, which admittedly I'm very bad at. And so, yeah, so this level here, it's the first instance of triple bomb jumps, which is rather than using two bombs, we use three bombs. And so it's just a bit quicker. Oh, it lets you get the extra height to go up to higher locations. Um, that heart there, very important to pick up. Um, there's a couple other spots we can pick it up, but that one's the easiest to pick up on our way. So grab that, keep that in mind for later. It'll come back, hopefully. So that's a little quick trick there. And so up here is where the end of the level normally is. For whatever reason, it's loaded even though you haven't completed a bunch of puzzles. So you can climb up there an unintended way to just finish the level really quickly. Oh, oh, unlucky. Why did I turn around? Come here! Artemis? No. Oh. I don't know what she's doing. There we go. So, Salvaged it, kind of. So this boss is Fish, or Leviathan. <laughs> um, fish. Not a fun boss. It has three attacks it can do. The bubble attack that it just tried to do then, a stomp attack, which is the one we want, and a cut attack, which is very bad. So and if it, cut, it does cuts the, up your bridge. Yeah, cut, cut cuts up the bridge and is very slow. I didn't get either the stomp or the cut, which is good, but... Two bubbles is alright, it's not a slow fish. Okay. 
This is why hearts are good. Okay, he moved over. I was prepared to kick him and pick him up so I can get him out of the way. So if you don't get the length right between these two bombs, you will do what I did twice. Oh, there goes the heart. That's all right. The, the other pickup point is later on. This guy's way more. Way. As I said, this is my demon level. I can't do this right. Nope. Nope. That's a bit enough. Oh. Also green. Did it despawn him? He despawned him. If you don't drop it. So there's a guy who sometimes spawns at the top of that um, thing, and he stops you walking up there, which is really annoying. And We've tried to figure out different ways to consistently despawn him, but... None of them are really consistent, they just work sometimes. He's mostly not there when we do them, but sometimes he is there, so... One day we'll actually look into why that is. Until then, he just is sometimes there and sometimes not. Yeah. Ooh, are you excited for your favourite boss? The least favourite boss. So Best this is boss. the worst boss. So this is Orion. Orion has this shield thing that he'll throw out that, like, knocks you out. Um, essentially... I want to pick up a bomb, run to the bottom of the stage, throw the bomb on his head, and then throw him off the stage. And normally he does the right thing, but we'll we'll find out if he does the right thing yet. So that's good so far. Oh, I was a bit slow, so he's going to throw me off the stage. So I'm going to have to go back and get another heart as well, which is not too much time. There's a rabbit that we can take out. Right, cool. One slam, that's weird. So that was the quick kill there. I'm having trouble. Uh, should I go should I go for the cutscene skip? It's up to you, honestly. Alright. If you want to um, continue to dunk me, that's all on you. Might as well do it. Um so this level is Red Mountain 3. Um at the end of this level, there's a little Help. platform that we need to hit and knock down all of the pillars to get it to fall. So what we can do instead is, once it falls, there's the end of the level, but we can actually do a really precise jump to jump across the gap without actually lowering the bridge. But compared to a lot of the other bomb jumps in the game, this one is very difficult because we're doing it on a diagonal rather than a, like just a straight X, Y sort of thing. So it's pretty precise and you can mess it up very easily. It's not the. It's probably one of the least yeah, beginner-friendly tricks in the game. So I'll see if I can get it. Oh, okay. See, if you miss it, you die. So. But I think it saves probably about 10, 15 seconds if you get it, because it skips the cutscene, skips having to walk to the exit of the level. But if you mess it up, you have to redo pretty much this whole room. So it's quite slow if you mess it up. And so this time I'll just um, finish it normally, because... One of us has to finish on time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it keeps it blown up for you. How yeah, nice. it keeps it blown up. So these guys, these blue guys are very scary. So I just sort of knock them out so that they can't spin and attack me. Not as bad as hard mode. Hard mode's pretty bad. Where's that? Yeah. Hard mode is uh, hard. Would you believe? It it is. Yeah, so there's a hard mode in this game, and it sort of adds more difficult physics. Ooh. So sort of there's an ice level coming up, and everything's a lot slipperier on the ice level. And then there's the. Um, level that blows wind and the wind is really strong and then bosses are just generally they have more health and move faster same with like regular enemies as well yeah so that's the guy we were attempting to despawn and I didn't get to despawn because I don't fully understand the mechanics behind it but yeah, as you can tell, he's kind of in a bad spot. 
really tight corridor to get past him. <laughs> well, I want to get close so I can get past the bomb before it explodes. Because I have, like, tried to go past the bomb and it's exploded on here. Three stages fine, ain't too bad. <laughs> Please, alright, treat me fairly. Um, so I'll need to grab another heart here. So, so. That's just a mental note that I'm mentally saying out loud. Okay. He decided not to behave. Do your thing. And then that. Oh, don't get hurt, that's rude. Uh, Ryan, where are you going? Mate, I'm over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Where's he going? He's being very not friendly. Okay, take that, putty. Ryan, please. Ah. He died, but eh, whatever. I didn't blow up the bridge. Oh, the, the, I missed the house. Oh. <laughs> you gotta do my strat. Get rid of the snowman. No, no, you keep the snowman. The snowman must stay so you can jump off the snowman. Look at that. Fast. The snowman knocks you right to the switch. I don't think we need to demonstrate that you're fast. No, we need to demonstrate that the snowman is fast. Ah, okay. not me. Until you, <laughs> until you run into the snowman afterwards. <laughs> he betrayed you. Well, we had a good run. We had a good run. What, did you kill him? No, he just attacked me. Be sure to look both ways before you cross the street. There we are. Sa road safety first, kids. So this is another one of the mini-bosses. Pretty easy to mess up. <laughs> um, so he'll charge at you like that, and you'll just kick a bomb at him, throw him off. Very simple. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> I had to wait for him to go through. If I was just a fraction later, he would have fallen off, and then I wouldn't have had to worry about it. But no. Yeah, that's the easiest mini boss of the lot. The one that Tomtron just did, because he charges at you. So this is the ice physics level. They're not too bad on normal mode, but on hard mode, they're very icy. But there's also this weird mechanic where it flips the camera underneath. And for these levels, casually it's really difficult because you'll run off in every direction. But if you know, you can just run straight forward and it's very easy to just run straight forward. I had the bomb up and I moved it into the explosion. <laughs> uh, just obviously, I should probably point out there's a bit of a context as to why there's such an incredible disparity of skill between the two of us. Uh, my PB is what, 35 minutes? And yours 35 is, minutes, yeah. Yours is somewhere in the 24 region. Yeah, about 24, 40, I think. And Tom Trunk contacted me. He's like, hey, do you want to do a race? So I'm like, uh, okay. Fr from memory, it was the other way around. No, yeah. I challenged you to a 100% race, which was even stupider. <laughs> which, <laughs> and how much of 100% do you know? Uh, zero. <laughs> or however much any percent adds up. So not much. <laughs> Yeah, so this is another room where it flips the camera underneath and you just run forward. It's not difficult at all, but yeah, we're it's lucky very in the easy sense to get lost when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we're lucky in the sense that the any percent for those two tilt camera points, you just go up. <laughs> yeah, in 100% in you actually have to go around and collect stuff in those rooms and it's very easy to get lost in them rooms because of that. So 
So this boss here is uh, Mantis. Or yeah. Australia for short. Australia. Well, because we called it a spider, and then we were like, oh, it's actually not a spider, because it's only got six legs. But eh, close enough. It's close enough. So essentially, he's pretty easy. You sort of run underneath him, throw bombs, do a little dance, and that's how you beat him. But the pro there's ice physics in this room as well. They're not as bad as the other room, but they're pretty bad sometimes. Alright, good. Oh, <laughs> Sirius just dropped me and I'm floating on it. <laughs> uh, so Sirius picks you, gives you one free pickup for that phase of the fight, but he can also drop you off down the... So the hole the I'm hole standing on, you. you can normally fall down, and I have no idea why I was still standing on it. Hello, sir. Snowman. I'm in. Just leave me be. Alright, so um, that heart we picked up earlier. Um, did you pick up a new heart? Yes, you picked up a new heart. Okay, good. I usually pick that up yeah. until you told me about the butterfly. Alright, so this level here is where the heart comes into play. So most of this level is just running, avoiding traffic. So just making sure you're not running into traffic, which is a good good option a lot of the Snowman. time. Snowman! There. I did it for you. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, so at the end of the level, there's a boss, and it takes quite a while to beat it. So what we do instead of fighting the boss is we use the heart. There's this glitch where if you, I guess, I don't, I don't exactly know how it works, but it, I think it's you're interrupting the animation of you being hit with the uh, um, animation of you picking stuff up and there's, it's, it's a bunch of things all together and then eventually you end up doing this weird what we call ghost walk and essentially that disables like all cutscenes, all like triggers for bosses and stuff so instead of fighting a boss you'll just see me sort of float through this last room and then finish the level. So over there that's where the boss normally spawns. Oops. Well, I'm gonna go fight the boss because I messed up. <laughs> Asterisk will hopefully show you how it's done. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but you can skip a little, there's a cutscene trigger there that means a guy will talk to you and you can skip that by doing a little jump over it. The good bad guy will talk to you. But this boss, generally not too difficult. I might turn my sound up so that I can hear when he's shooting at me. Oh yeah, so it shoots at you with like a machine gun sound and if you can't hear it, it's kind of bad. You don't know when to move out of the way of the death. So the reason we skip this is because it's kind of very annoying. You have to do a lot of dodging and there's a lot of stuff going on. And it's very easy to die in it. Uh, I think that means I game over on that level, so I have to go back to the start of the level. So I'm going to re-pick up a heart and redo the level because it's nice. At this point, it's quicker to do that because I messed up. I'm a little concerned about the penguin at the end of this level. He's been giving me strife. Get your bunny. So here I can just pick up the level and because I've uh, the heart and because I've finished it, I can exit straight back out again. Yeah. So you can only exit out of levels that you've already completed before, and you also can't exit out of mini boss fights and boss fights. Yeah, so even if you've beat a mini boss or a regular boss before, you can't exit out of those levels. Penguin. Alright, he was nice. <laughs> Usually he's like right in the middle of your path. And he's. And he can also, like, his attack is he slides. And he slid straight into me at one point, just kicked me off. Swing at me! Oh, I got his mask, but not him. Oh, he's gone on the wall. I'm getting all of his cards, but not him! Alrighty, so hopefully this time I don't mess up the trick. We'll see. 
All right, there we go. So now I kick a bomb when I've landed, and so now Bomb Man's doing this weird floating thing, and that boss that I tried to fight before badly no longer spawns, and I can just walk over to the end of the level. Spider didn't kill me. Nice. Nice! Ah, a really good mini boss, uh, Devastator. Yeah, Devastator? Harvester. Harvester. Oh, so. that Devastator is something else. I was thinking of different mini boss. Right, so this is High Tech Harvester. He likes to. High Tech. That was the name of the look. It's... If it had the English name, you'd see it. Well, we're not playing on English. If you can read Japanese, you'd see it. So essentially, he has a lot of attacks and likes to hurt you. Yeah, hit. sometimes the screens can get a bit chaotic with all the stuff that's happening on the screen, which can make things very spooky. He hasn't seemed to be giving you any problems, so... Yeah, there we go. That was a pretty good fight. Um, 34 seconds is pretty good. I also managed to get all the gold cards. So for 100%, there's these gold cards. And normally you'd have to collect them. Each boss has about four of them and then one for getting it within the target time. And sometimes in any percent, you can just get all of the gold cards for bosses just because you can hit all the parts of them that give you the gold cards. Oh, that was weird. I'm concerned about this flying guy. Ooh. He was thinking about it. He contemplated the idea and then he let me go. <laughs> nice. So I got the trick first try, which gives me just that little bit of extra time on Tom, but he is quite <laughs> a distance away from me. Pick it up, there we go. If I fall off at the end of this level, you probably hurt. catch up. Just don't do it. Just don't fall. I've been oh. working on not falling and... No, me too? But yeah. that hasn't actually shown, but that's alright. Well, maybe, maybe we'll I'm both... just giving you an advantage, because you need well, it. I'm going to bring this guy with me. He's coming with. Yeah, he's coming with. He's coming on the adventure. On the adventure? On the adventure. He wants to be a part of the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So those three bomb jumps we've been doing throughout the run. You can also use enemies to do the bomb, the jumps. Anyone? So essentially I can throw him over there, drop a bomb, pick him up, throw him, drop another bomb, and bounce up on top of him. Damn you, Harvester. That's alright. So I you tend to get a lot of those like spinny missiles that chase you down, and they they scare me. They're Stop pretty scary with missiles. the spinny <laughs> missile! No, bad! Naughty! You've been a bad harvester. Whoa, nice juke. Stop it! Alright, so this, there's a little bit of a speed strat here. Um, essentially, I'm going to kick a regular bomb, and then quickly pump up a big bomb, and hopefully throw the big bomb into the little bomb's explosion. I missed it. But if you get the big bomb into the little bomb's explosion, you it'll trigger the big bomb's explosion and then blow up the bridge a little bit quicker so you don't have to wait for the um, fuse for the big bomb. It's very hard to aim at Harvester because the camera puts you in front of him and rotates, but your like directional movement is still locked to the shape of the room itself. So that's why I was like trying to hit him, but my shots were going wide. All right, so this is the final boss. Um, he has two phases. The first phase used to be very difficult, but then we found this strat, and I think the strat will speak for itself. It's pretty quick. Um, a lot better than the old strat. We used to stand still, right. hope we didn't get lasered, and it was a bad strat. And then. Someone found a strat where you could sort of get him to run over and you could kick a bomb at him and attack him, but then I messed that strat up and found this one, which is a lot faster, and you don't have to do anything. He sort of just jumps himself off the stage. Are you ready on time, Nay? Nay is ready on time. 
Alright, so this is the final final boss of the game. Um, as most final bosses are, it's pretty difficult. Um, one of the hardest in the game. Hopefully I can get it. I messed up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, my the, friend is not The joke is it. it's not actually difficult. Um, he if you stop knock him out, uh, that's time there. If you knock him out, is that 30 minutes? If you knock him out, um, he for whatever reason you can pick him up and it takes a very long time for him to regain consciousness, so you can just carry him for ages. Um, but yeah, so I'm done. Astris is going. I'm chugging along. His way through. I'm chugging along. It's all right. We believe in you. What? What are you doing then? He's he's usually not there, and that was kind of spooky. Yeah, when he's there is scary. Yeah, I I am nowhere near fast enough to land that like small bomb, large bomb strat. I don't know. I'm very I'm very bad with the mashing and the getting out of stun thing. I don't know the optimal movement of the stick. Am I gonna make PB? Oh, I might actually make PB. It should there you PB. Go. It should PB. And then they can submit this to uh, speedrun.com, the marathon run. Good enough, good enough. I'm not gonna allow it. <laughs> wow. Has proof that it's real, won't allow it. So it's left, diagonal down, and then down. I really love the English voice actors for these guys. Uh, they say some wacky stuff in a very wacky manner, but instead we just get wicked sick. No, no beam of death. So the boss, <laughs> because he's got his little laser friend, it can be quite difficult. Yeah. Oh, I got to do the cutscene again. Oh. Yeah, um, also, it's worth noting, if you, let's say you throw off the boss and you're waiting for him to die, the mask can still snipe you with his laser and it kills you and ends, like, you have to start again, even though the guy is about to die. It's a very rude mask. Pretty rude. Damn you, Jim Carrey. Need to not potato. No, we believe in you. You can do it. Gotta love the intro sound. Yeah, there we go. Move, 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 move. Okay. The mask did not get me. Got a mash. Mash. Oh yeah, the game. Uh, Tom's game on the credits is showing you how the game wants you to get all of like the extra cards and stuff, but in the hundred percent. You do even wackier bomb jumps, and you just you ignore a lot of what they want you to do. Get ready on time. Time. Yeah, nice. And that's a that Bomberman 64. Any percent. In a bit more than what we thought it would be. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, any and a bit more. It's worth noting that if you wanted to pick this game up. Uh, the tutorial video is a whopping two hours, so you can play along with it, and it explains everything you would ever need to know for Very, good. Very well and, made video. And then uh, you can just play, and there's plenty of room for improvement, plenty, plenty of room for um, pro versus beginner, and alternate ways to do rooms and whatnot. So it's a really good uh, entry-level speedrun, I've found. Yeah. Nothing too difficult. It can You can learn it in those two hours, be doing runs, getting, getting good. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it and enjoy the rest enjoy of uh, yeah. Oz Speedruns Marathon. We're raising money for Beyond Blue, both uh, online and live at the event. Just speak to one of our helpful team to get you sorted on donating or perhaps even learning how to speedrun or joining our community. Yeah.